Captain Zero. Captain Zero. Research explorer in time and space. Somewhere in a remote, uncharted region of a planet called Earth stands the laboratory of Captain Zero. In this secret location, known only to a few in the outside world, Captain Zero and his associates experiment in time and space to learn from the past, to plan for the future. Contact has been established. We now transmit you direct to the laboratory of Captain Zero. Please stand by. What are you doing, Captain? Just checking the sound wave segregator. I had to replace a capacitor in the pentode circuit. Captain Zero? Yes? Just exactly how does the sound wave segregator work? The actual electronics are pretty complicated, yet, But the principle is simple enough. What is the principle? Well, as you know, all sound is caused by vibration. When you strike a bell, it vibrates. If you pluck a violin string, it vibrates. When we talk, the breath across our vocal cords causes them to vibrate. Yes. Now, these vibrations are transmitted to the surrounding air and travel out in all directions in the form of waves, which we call sound waves. In free atmosphere, sound waves travel at the rate of 1,092 feet per second, or almost 745 miles per hour. Man! How far do they go before they die out, Captain? As far as we know, they never die out. The farther they go, the weaker they become, but they never completely die out. You mean the words I'm saying right now just go on and on, even though I can't hear them anymore? That's right. Every word that was ever spoken on Earth is still traveling on ever-expanding sound waves. Golly. And with a proper setting of the sound wave segregator, we can pick up those sound waves and hear the words over again. Captain? Yes? Could you bring in the words we've just been saying? Well, certainly, that's easy. Just set the time for a few minutes ago, the location for right here, lock the controls and throw the switch. Captain, you didn't say that. 
You didn't lock the controls, Jeff. Those sound waves are coming in from Mexico. 1519. Hernan Cortez. Set the language rectifier for Spanish, quickly. Is that Cortez, Captain? No, listen. I have decided that now is the time to get rid of Hernan Cortez. If we work fast, we can dispose of him within the hour. Get the others and return here as soon as possible. Captain, did you hear that? Somebody's planning to get rid of Hernan Cortez. Stand by to activate the time machine. Yes, sir. Set it for Veracruz, Mexico, July the 10th, 1519. Right. Petro. Yes, Captain. Stand by for operation of the time machine. Yes, sir. Electro generators, 8.913. Clytron output, 4.337. Set the philotron at 20.991. Right. Ready, Jeff? Ready, sir. Ready in the electro chamber? Ready, sir. Stand by for signal. Activate the cycle reactor. Good. We're crashing the fourth dimension and projecting back into time. 1900, 1800, 17, 16. Increase millophase 90.7. Bring up resistance on the cycle reactor. Hold it. 1550, 25. Stand by. 1519. Cut cycle reactor and lock it. No the power, Citro. Stand by to activate the view screen. Yes, sir. Bring up the target voltage. Increase image acceleration very slowly. Look, there's the fleet of Hernan Cortez in the harbor of Veracruz, Mexico, in the year 1519. But what about those men who were plotting against him? Stand by to refocus to the camp of Cortez. Now, pinpoint location. Time is ripe. Even now, Cortez is alone in his quarters. <laughs> Poor Cortez. It is too bad he must meet with an accident. And I am afraid this uh, accident will be most fatal. Most fatal. Ricardo. He? Sit down. Where are the others? They are coming. What happened to the Aztec idol? It met with an accident. Oh? See, it got in the way of my life. Oh. Manuel, Jose, sit down. Okay. Now listen to me, my friends. The time has come for us to act. Unless we take over these ships and sail back to Cuba now, we may never see Cuba again. What do you mean? I have been with Cortez. He is not satisfied with the gold we have already taken from the Indians, nor is he satisfied with the rich presents we have received from the ambassadors of Montezuma. Now he thinks to conquer Montezuma himself. You mean march into the interior of Mexico with thousands of Aztec warriors on all sides? I see. With but 400 men? Yes. 399. I think I will stay here. You will have no choice, Ricardo. Unless we get rid of Cortez, we all will find ourselves in the temples of the Aztec gods as human sacrifices. Human sacrifice? Yeah. How do we get rid of Cortez? Simple. I will make a friendly visit to him in his quarters. You three will post yourselves to take care of his officers. I will take care of Cortez. With him out of the way, 
I will be in command. Yes. We will then load the gold we already have into the ships and sail back to Cuba. But, but this is mutiny. No, my friend. Merely a difference of opinion. Yes, yeah, see, see, you are yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. You will wait at your posts until I have disposed of Cortez. Then you will strike. Understand? But how will we know when Cortez is finished? When you hear me blow on this whistle, <whistles> you know Cortez will be dead. Then you will strike. And strike quickly. With Cortez and his officers out of the way, nothing can stop us. Yeah, but suppose Cortez learns of our plan and sets a trap for us. Impossible. Only you three know of this plot. And I am quite certain that uh, none of you will talk, because if you do, I will learn of it. Cortez. <laughs> we are taking a great risk. You will take an even greater risk if we continue to follow Cortez. Uh, it was easy to, to sail here from Cuba. And it was nothing to to conquer the natives on Yucatan, and it was great sport, tossing their gods out of the Aztec temples. Uh, but now, now we are in Mexico, on the edge of the great Aztec Empire. Already, Cortez has gone too far. He has gone much too far. And Montezuma, even now, the great Montezuma, the chief of the Aztecs, knows we are here. He could, uh, Try to make war on us right now, and then... What do you think our 400 soldiers could do against thousands upon thousands of Aztecs, eh? But are not the Aztecs afraid of our horses and cannon? Do they not think many of us are gods? See, si, but how long do you think they will be afraid? When once they find out that we are only men as they are, and that we die as they do, eh? No. No, we have come far enough in land. And once Cortez is out of the way, the whole army will be most happy to return to Cuba. Uh, we already have much gold. And do not forget, the governor of Cuba will reward us handsomely for eliminating Cortez. <laughs> yeah, governor Velasquez uh, would be most pleased to hear about the death of Cortez. We would all be rich. Yeah. I am with you, Espinosa. Jose? Good. Ricardo? Or do you wish more persuasion? Eh? No, you, you are more persuasive. <laughs> Good. At the change of the guard, I will call on Cortez in his tent. It will be quick and easy. Now, go to your posts and await my signal. It will not be long in coming. Si. 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 Ricardo? Do not fail me, because if you do, Hernan Cortez will have company in his grave. I see what you mean. I think I can do without his company. Good. In a few minutes, all will be over for Cortez. Jack. Yes, sir. Stand by to refocus to the headquarters of Hernan Cortez. Yes, sir.
Yes. Yes, Minoza. Come in. Sit down. I have a matter to discuss with you. What sort of matter? I have decided to march to Tenochtitlan, the capital of the Aztec Empire. Oh? Uh, if we can defeat Montezuma, all of Mexico will be ours. What will I do with all of Mexico? Think of the gold that will be yours. We already have gold. Uh, but there is much more in Tenochtitlan. Capitan, you cannot hope to conquer thousands of Aztecs with only 400 soldiers. But you forget, we have 15 cannon and 16 horses. Well, these natives have never before seen cannon and horses. They fear us as they fear their own gods. Besides, I have discovered a great weakness in the Aztec Empire. Uh, what is that? Montezuma is hated by many of the tribes that he has conquered. The tribes will side with us to overthrow his rule. Already the Tocdanos have offered men and supplies. See, but uh, not until we subdue them. Tribe by tribe, we will subdue them all. But the natives are known for their treachery. Oh, I think I can outwit them. Espinosa, what is it? What is it? What is keeping you? It's getting cold out here. You fool! Get back to your post. What does he want? Only to go into the village. The entire Aztec Empire can be ours, Espinosa, with a little bravery and daring. But there's more than gold to be gained here. There'll be land grants for us all, and an entire country for King Charles of Spain. What of Velasquez and his rights in this expedition? Velasquez will get his due. All that remains now is to convince the men to march into the interior. I am afraid for some of them it will take a lot of convincing. Well, I will find a way. What do you want now? Hurry up! This waiting is, is, is killing me! Get out of here and wait for my signal! What is going on here? Uh, one of the guards was seeking instructions. In the future, when someone comes to my quarters, I will give the instructions. Uh, see, Capitan, but I was only trying to save you trouble. See, Espinosa, you are a good soldier. Forgive me. Look, I have already marked the route that we will follow to the Nazi plan. It will be hard and dangerous, but it will be well worth the risk. First, we will go to Jalapa. Jeff. Yes, sir? Stand by to activate the visualization chamber. Yes, sir. Okay, Jeff. Throw the switch. Vector wave condensers are opening. Turboid activity is increasing. Voltage is building up. Spark gaps are closing. He's transforming to electrical impulses and beginning to dematerialize. There he goes. He's gone. This man happens to be one of my most trusted officers. Nevertheless, he was going to stab you Just with a... who are you? What is this strange uniform? Where do you come from? Look, I only came here to help you. This character was going to get rid of you and your officers, then lead your army back to Cuba and collect a reward from Governor Velasquez. Oh, maybe Velasquez sent you to kill me, eh? What's the use? Jet. Maybe Jet. Espinosa here was the one that saved my life when you sneaked into my quarters. Maybe that's the way it happened, eh, my friend? Now, wait a minute. No, you wait a minute, whoever you are. I am going to write a message to Velasquez. It will be written in your blood. With my compliments, senor. You could have killed me. After all the trouble I've gone through to save you? No. Take it. Now maybe you'll believe me. Uh, it's been no very easy trade us. You take a lot of convincing. Ah. There is mutiny in my camp, eh? My men want to get rid of me, eh? No, Capitan, no. Tell me, how many others are in this? Tell me, quickly. 
Three, Capitan, three. And who is behind this lot? Who? Uh, uh, this man. This man standing right here. Mm. He is the leader. He forced no. me against my will. I tell no. you, he did, yes. Yes, man. Yes, man. Uh, yes. Okay, Jet. Take me back. Try again, Esmeralda. And this time, tell the truth, or I will cut off both your ears. It was Velasquez. See? 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 Yeah, it was Velasquez, Capitan. He wanted you out of the way so that he could, uh, could take your place. He forced me to help him. I, I had no choice. And how could he force you when he is still in Cuba? Thank you, my friend. I... Must have failed. He's gone. It's strange. But whoever he was, he will always have a friend in Hernan Cortez. Some of my men would return to Cuba, eh? We shall see. Espinosa, when are you going to... Capitan Cortez. What do you want? I, I was just wondering how soon we start for the interior of Mexico. First, I have to settle the mutiny. Come with me to the shore. Si, Capitan. Si. as there are ships left in the harbor, we can still get back to Cuba. What's Cortez going to do, Captain? Refocus to the harbor. You mean he's burning his own ships? That's right, Jeff. He claimed they were unseaworthy and burnt them right down to the water's edge. Cortez was a man of action, and burning his own ships was one sure way of preventing his men from deserting. He was the only one in his army to see beyond the gold. And without ships, his men could do nothing but follow Cortez westward in his successful conquest of the Aztec Empire. boys and girls. Greetings, fellow Z-men. I want to tell you how you can become a commissioned officer of the Zero Explorers in Time and Space and receive an official space passport and identification card. This passport entitles you to travel in accredited spaceships to any planet in our solar system. It also contains my official signature and photograph, as well as regulations for space travel and procedure for rocket ship blast off. Just send your name and address to me, Captain Zero, in care of this station. Your letter will be forwarded to my laboratory by guided missile, and I will immediately send you your official space passport and identification card. So, till we meet again, fellow Z-men, good luck in time and space. Be sure to be standing by when we again transmit you to this remote location on the planet Earth where Captain Zero and his associates will conduct another experiment in time and space.